What's up guys, it's Alex over at Laser Everything and it is my favorite time of year. I love autumn so much and I'm super excited to bring you guys an autumn themed project. Today we're gonna be working on these, I mean, they're, they're cute, super cute MDF chalkboard signs. Uh, they've got cute little sayings on them like sweater weather uh, on the acorn there and we've got pumpkin spice and everything nice and uh hello fall right can't forget your falling leaf i'm i love these things i love cheesy fall stuff like this and i'm gonna walk you guys through how to make these every step of the way from uh cutting the holes to getting the little hangers on them it's really deceptively simple and uh if you're worried about getting the materials needed to make this it's actually really easy i've got you covered there too the chalkboard you can pick up super inexpensively at home depot and of course uh the twine here which was a little difficult to find actually is available in an affiliate link down in the description we're going to walk you through every step so if you want those supplies go ahead and grab them then come back to the video because we're getting started right now All right, guys, so if you're ready to get started with this project, the first thing that you are obviously going to need is some chalkboard. Now, this is a piece of scrap. You can see I uh, did some testing with the CO2 laser there. And uh, this is a piece of scrap that I have left over from when I first started my business. We were getting Etsy listings up online, uh, but it's going to do great for what we need it for today. So just go ahead and grab a sheet of this. You can get it at Home Depot. Seriously, like a sheet of this is like, I don't even know, like, five bucks, maybe 10 bucks max. Uh, so super duper cheap and easy to get. Just run over to Home Depot, you can grab it. Comes in these big long sheets. I think they're like 24 inches by like 48 inches or something like that, the, the hefty sheets. Uh, you may need to cut it down. One thing I like to do is slide the whole super big sheet into the uh, CO2 laser and then just cut a line straight across and that'll just cut it into more manageable sections. But uh, once you have a manageable section of this, go ahead and toss it into the CO2. Once it's in there, go ahead and raise the bed up, check your focus. It's really important that this is focused correctly or you won't engrave the MDF right. This is MDF backed chalkboard. So it's really important that we get our settings just right because if we don't, the actual MDF will show through. It's really ugly and uh, it just doesn't engrave that well. So uh, we want to just kind of break through the chalkboard and get that top layer of MDF showing. And that's gonna be the perfect mark. Now that everything is focused, we can move on to light burn. So let's go ahead and get light burn open. And once light burns open, we can go ahead and import. And we just want to import our chalkboard autumn sayings. We've got a file in here that's ready to go. Uh, we have the light burn version and we have the, uh, the AI file. I'm gonna go ahead and link the AI file for you guys on the Patreon. So if you wanna use these, you're more than welcome, but they're pretty easy to make on your own. So again, if you'd like to make them on your own, uh, they're, they're really simple. You just grab some shapes and put a couple holes in them. We're gonna take a look at them right now by loading up our Lightburn file. So here's our file guys. And the first thing we can take a look at up here is our settings. Uh, we have our line, our cut line first. We actually don't want that first. So uh, we wanna do our engraving first. We've got a speed of 500 and a power of 20. And that's just gonna give us the perfect mark on this chalkboard. Uh, we can open it up here and check the resolution. And uh, this was actually kind of hard to get. So uh, in order to get just the perfect mark, at least with my laser, uh, you really need a DPI of 500. It's a line interval of 0 0.05. And uh, this really, really does the trick. Uh, and you guys are gonna see the results on that in a minute, but just take my word for it for now. Uh, these settings are going to do great for us. And then of course we've got a cut speed of 12 speed and 60 power. And that's gonna punch right through the MDF. The other thing we're gonna to wanna to take a look at is we can scroll down in here and uh, we can just check our circle diameter. Uh, these are grouped, so if we just go ahead and ungroup these, uh, we're using kind of a special twine in order to string these up and hang them. So uh, the perfect size for that is five millimeters is what I found. So five millimeters works really good for our little tie off holes. And uh, we've got this uh, font here. This font is a really nice font. We can go ahead and check that as well. I believe it's called watermelon script. So if we just type some text here, uh, let's just double check that really quick. Watermelon script, yeah, demo. Okay, perfect. So there it is right there. 
Uh, there's the watermelon script. You can download this online. Of course, if you plan on selling these, uh, purchase the commercial copy of that font, but uh, it's a great little font, really cute. It's got kind of that fall vibe to it. So um, that's what we're using. You guys have seen all the different pieces and parts. It's not that complicated of a project, but we do have some prep and cleanup to do after we get these cut and engraved. So let's just go ahead and run this now, get them done, and then I'll show you how to put it all together. So all we have to do, let's start the job in the top left corner, uh, and we're just gonna send it over to the laser, just like this, uh, Autumn C, that's fine, whatever. And uh, we'll shoot that over, and uh, let's go check it out on the machine. So all we have to do here is hit file and enter, and that's gonna load up the file we just sent over. And you can see that the blue loaded in first, so we know that it's going to engrave before it cuts. If we cut before we engrave, our engraving may not be center. So let's just get the engraving done first and then we can cut the outlines after. So I forgot how big these are. And as you can see here in this frame out, uh, it's coming way off our chalkboard. I know we have enough chalkboard to get this done, but I'm not gonna be able to be lazy about it and run them all at once. So we're gonna have to load them in one at a time and that's no big deal. I'm just gonna go ahead and load in our pumpkin now and we can start with that. After we get the pumpkin done, we'll just go ahead and swap out the file and do them one at a time with whatever available chalkboard space we have. And then I will show you the final result when they're done. So let's go ahead and cut to the engraving. Now, as you can see here, this is a great example of why you should do as I say and not as I do, because I forgot to swap the cut and engraving lines for the second two pieces. In the case of the maple leaf, it actually fell through and I had to stop the machine and refocus so that the engraving would come out right. So it's really important that you have your layers in order from the ones you want to start first to the ones you want to happen last. Cut should always come after engrave. So here we are at the desk guys and uh, you can see these are really dark and that doesn't look good at all luckily They're really easy to clean up. Just hit them with a little bit of Windex and all you got to do is take your uh, Microfiber cloth here and just give them a quick wipe down You do just want to make sure that you go with the grain of the engraving You can see it in there if you go against that it can cause little like rips and tears in the surface of the MDF that don't look very good so uh, just especially while it's wet make sure you go with the grain of the engraving and uh, you'll actually get like a nice bright brown. Uh, I'll show you that a little bit closer when we finish the acorn here. Same thing, just a quick spritz uh, of the Windex. We can throw that down there out of the way. And uh, we're just gonna go with the grain of the engraving and we can get all of that carbon and dust off of our boards so that they look really, really nice. Uh, we'll just go ahead and give that a wipe. I'm giving it a, a good amount of power, but I'm not like, I'm not like really putting the elbow grease in, so. Uh, with that done, we can just let these dry for a second. They're gonna dry right out. Okay guys, with the cleaning done on all of these pieces, uh, it's time to string them up and it's really easy. You're just gonna grab your uh, kind of rope twine stuff here and you're gonna cut a length of it. I typically think that um, like kind of if I keep my if I keep my elbows in and just kind of pull it out like that plus just a little bit extra uh, is typically like a really good length so, um, just grab a knife or a pair of scissors and go ahead and cut that off. And then we're just going to feed one end through. And you go ahead and pull it through pretty far. And uh, we're just going to tie it off on the end here. Just like that. And then pull it through. And then go ahead and uh, feed the other end through here. And tie it off like that. Now, 
If you're using a different thickness uh, twine, you're going to want to have different diameter holes. That way your knots don't come through. But once it's done, it hangs really nicely on like a door hanger or a wall. Uh, and it just, it looks good. It looks folly. Uh, the twine stuff really kind of helps sell the fall feel. Here you can see, yes, uh, the engraving does work on the fiber uh, as well. Though you're going to have a difficult time cutting it out. Um, and that's it. So now we've got three autumn signs ready to go and uh, they look really really good here's a close-up look for you just so you can see the color of the final engraving that's pretty accurate right there uh, on screen that's that's kind of what you can expect there's the bottom there and uh, they they are really really nice looking when they're finished uh, I, I think you guys are going to be super pleased with these and they're they're like no-brainers uh, because they're just so inexpensive to make anyway guys that's all i've got thank you so much for watching this episode i really hope you enjoyed it if you got value out of it go ahead and hit the like button let everybody know that the content is good and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you get notified the next time we post a video if you love the channel and it's the best thing that's ever happened to you feel free to check out the patreon it's an awesome bonus content arena full of just the best stuff you get sometimes multiple times a week uh, we have like live streams about patreon exclusive live streams where we just cover all of the jobs that we're doing in the shop uh, it's like friday live day but extra and uh, you get bonus episodes of the podcast the laser source which is really really great you get instant access to my entire fiber laser and co2 laser library as well as a bunch of other goodies that add bonus value like the files for cutting these signs and there's a whole bunch more stuff guys i really think you should go check it out there's a link to it down in the description right next to the link to the discord uh, which is our amazing online community filled with people that love love laser they love helping people sharing photos talking about settings perfecting techniques it's really just the the best laser community uh, and I'm, I'm so so honored to be a part of it and to be able to spend time with you guys there i'm on it pretty much 24 7 so if you're looking to talk to me that's usually the best way to do it there's a link to that again in the description right next to the link to the patreon and uh, i think that's all i've got guys thank you so much for watching this episode it was really great having you by and i'm really looking forward to uh doing some more fall stuff here as autumn uh comes in so i need to go find somewhere that sells hot apple cider and those little pumpkin mellow cream candies uh so i'm gonna go do that but i will see you in the next one